Welcome to Glasgow University. And welcome to Freshers Gate. So now you've arrived at uni, you might like a little advice on what places to visit, where to find them and how to get there. So we've put together this quick guide on student life in Glasgow. This is the GEU. And this is the QM. If you want to relax with friends and get a pint at a good price, the beer bar is one of the best places to go. With 18 taps of the finest ales and lagers to choose from, the beer bar is the perfect place for a drink after lectures and meeting new friends. At the heart of the QM is Jim's Bar. Here you'll find cheap drinks and a great atmosphere any time of the day. It also hosts several events throughout the week. From stationery to soft drinks, the campus shops have everything you need. And when you absolutely have to do some revision, come on to the study rooms. But it's at night when the unions really come alive. The Hive is the union's very own thousand capacity nightclub. That's the biggest in the West End. Previous DJs have included Kitty Sellout, Tim Westwood, Zane Lowe, JK and Joel, DJ Yoda and Dave Pearce. For live music, kudos can rarely be rivalled. In recent years, bands such as Snow Patrol, Biffy Clyro and the Fratellis have all played here, as well as local bands like Kobai, Union of Thieves and the Kazoo Funk Orchestra. This is the John Mack Building, home of the SRC. The Student Representative Council is your voice on campus. The SRC represents students on all university committees and provides a wealth of services including the Advice Centre, where you can get information on everything from financial support to housing issues. They also operate the Secondhand Bookshop, Nightline, a confidential listening and information service, and the Student Volunteer Support Service, as well as a variety of events throughout the year, such as Rag Week. They also offer the cheapest printing and photocopying in the West End, and their website features flat sharing and job finding services. And this is the Fraser Building. This houses many student services, including the first point of contact for anyone in need of assistance, the Student Services Inquiry Team. They're based on Level 2 and can provide help with all manner of queries from council tax to student ID cards, and just about everything in between. Elsewhere in the building you'll find the John Smith Bookshop. Along in Oakfield Avenue, you'll find the headquarters of GUSA, the University's Sports Association. GUSA represents all members involved in club sport, health and fitness classes, sport and recreation courses and more. Across the road is the Stevenson Building, the main sports complex on campus, which houses a swimming pool, fitness, strength and cardio suites and many more facilities.
There's also the Hetherington Research Club, which is open to mature, exchange, DACE and postgraduate students. There are dozens of clubs and societies in the university, all vying for your membership. You can see several of them for yourself on the GUST website. And if none of them take your fancy, you can start your own. See the SRC for details. The SRC supports four award-winning student media outlets. The Guardian newspaper, Gum magazine, Subcity Radio and Glasgow University Student Television. In addition, both the QM and the GUU have their own regular publications. Finally, the SRC operates a free minibus service during term time, taking you to and from the various halls of residence. Of course, you won't want to spend all your time in Uni Avenue. Just a few steps away is the heart of the West End, Byers Road. This is where you'll find all the shops and pubs closest to the university. Off Byers Road, you'll find the cobbled back street of Ashton Lane, with its own collection of bars and restaurants. Don't forget, you'll need to carry proof of age for any licensed premises. Also, bring your matric card, as many places offer student discounts. On nearby Cresswell Lane is De Courses Arcade, which includes a number of gift and collector shops. And of course, there's the three mile long Great Western Road, which is also chock full of retailers and licensed premises. To look further afield, you'll want some transport. There's always buses available to take you to the city centre and discounted student travel cards are available. Or you can take the subway. A discovery ticket will give you unlimited travel all day. The subway is open until 11.30pm Monday to Saturday and 6pm Sunday. Getting off the subway at Buchanan Street will put you in the centre of Glasgow's main shopping area. As well as Buchanan Street itself, there's the Buchanan Gallery Shopping Mall, Sucky Old Street and Argyle Street, all jam-packed with high street names. The city centre is also packed full of dance and live venues, such as The Garage, Cat House, ABC and many more. The city centre also hosts Cineworld in Renfrew Street officially the tallest cinema in the world and the busiest in the UK. There's also the Glasgow Film Theatre in Rose Street, just off Sucky Hill Street, with a wide variety of both mainstream and art house films throughout the year. A short walk from the Cessna stop in the subway is the 3D IMAX Cinema, which is part of the Glasgow Science Centre, one of the country's most innovative attractions. The Kelvin Grove is Scotland's premier art gallery and museum. It's on Argyll Street towards the West End, and as well as art, it contains a vast natural history collection. Meanwhile, the Hunterian Museum and Art Gallery is located in the University Library Complex and includes a zoology collection and an outdoor sculpture garden. Well, we hope this has given you some ideas for the year and years ahead. Make sure you hold on to your copy of the SRC Guide, which holds more information on everything on this programme. And stay tuned to Gus throughout the year for details on upcoming events in the unions and elsewhere. Thanks for watching and enjoy Glasgow.